The first lesson is taken from the Old Testament, 2 Samuel chapter 18, verse 5 through 9, 15, 31, and 33. The king gave orders to Joab and Abishai and Ete, saying, Deal gently for my sake with the young man Absalom. And all the people heard when the king gave orders to all the commanders concerning Absalom. So the army went out into the, into the field against Israel, and the battle was fought in the forest of Ephraim. The men of Israel were defeated there by the servants of David, and the slaughter there was great on that day. 20,000 men. The battle spread over the face of all the country, and the forest claimed more victims that day than the sword. Absalom happened to meet the servants of David. Absalom was riding on his mule, and the mule went under the thick branches of a great oak. His head caught fast in the oak, and he was left hanging between heaven and earth, while the mule that was under him went on. And ten young men, Joab Amor, bearers sounded Absalom and struck him and killed him. Then the Cushite came and the Cushite said, good tidings for my lord the king. For the Lord has vindicated you this day, delivering you from the power of all who rose up against you. The king said to the Cushite, it is well with the young man Absalom. The Cushite answered, may the enemies of my lord the king and all who rise up to do you harm be like that young man. The king was deeply moved and went up to the chamber over the gate and wept. And as he went, he said, O oh, my son Absalom, my son, my son Absalom, with that I had died instead of you. O oh, Absalom, my son, my son. The word of the Lord. Psalm 130, found in the Book of Common Prayer on page 78, 784, or your bulletin on page 3. We will read by a whole verse. Out of the depths I have called to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears consider well the voice of my supplication. For there is forgiveness with you, therefore you shall be feared. My soul waits for the Lord, more than the watchman for the morning, more than the watchman for the morning. With him there is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all their sins. The second lesson, the epistle, is taken from Ephesians chapter 4, verses 25 
through, through f- verse 5 and 2. Second chapter 4, the epistle. So then, putting away falsehood, let all of us speak the truth to our neighbors, for we are members of one another. Be angry, but do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger, and do not make room for the devil. Thieves must give up stealing. Rather, let them labor and work honestly with their own hands so as to have something to share with the needy. Let no evil talk come out of your mouths, but only what is useful for building up as there is need, so that your words may give grace to those who hear. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God with which you were marked with a seal for the day of redemption. Put away from all from you all bitterness and wrath and anger and wrangling and slander, together with all malice, and be kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ has forgiven you. Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children, and live in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. The word of the Lord. 